So the last piece is the mode. And as I said, as promised, the mode is my favorite. And the reason why the mode is my favorite because it's the only central tendency that can be used for categorical data. The mode is just going to be the category or value that occurs most frequently. Um, mode is usually used with categorical data. It's not used too much when we're doing quantitative. The mode is um, the only central tendency that can be used with categorical or quantitative. And here, and here's really important is if you see that a category has the same frequency, then the data set will have more than one mode. So if the highest number of observations are in two categories, then the mode will have two answers. And then if everything is just listed once, right, like there is no, um, no uh, duplicates of observations, then there is no mode. So it's not zero or anything, it's just no mode, so it's either absence of, a, of mode or the ones that have the most or if the one category has the same it has the most then the, there is more than one mode so if we remember the color categorical data that we used a lot in our problems back in the first section we noticed that remember that we had blue and green and red. And remember the frequencies were at five, four, and five. So if we remember that, we could see that blue and green, right, occur the most because they're both at five, but also two of them, I'm sorry, blue and red, both occur five times. It is the most frequent colors, blue and red. So this means that they have um, more than one mode and the mode is going to be those two colors. So we would say the mode is red and blue. Because they occur the most so with ca that's why the mode it can be used with categorical data because you're just you're not really doing anything with the data but just observing the data and observing which ones have been most frequently so with the weights of the models, this is quantitative data, we would like a frequency table because if we want to see which model's weight occurs the most, we would see here that 85 and 110 are model's weights that occur the most. And because they occur the same, we would say that the mode is 85 and 110 pounds. And recall that if, let's just say there were data that only occurred once, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No number repeated itself in your set of data, then you would have no mode. But if you had, um, like in our situation where you had observations that occurred the most and the same number of times, then you can have more than one mode. Okay, and then essentially the goal is to have one mode, but sometimes we don't have any, so, and then we have two. <laughs>